Roger, it's been, it's been six years, you've been the president. Why has this been such an important initiative for you to be involved in this, for the player, president of the Player Council? Well, I mean, I think I was uh, quite young in the beginning, you know, when I was coming up and um, hearing uh, little things ab about the politics of the game. And, uh, and then eventually I felt like I needed to take an active role in it other, and not just complain from the sidelines if I wasn't happy with uh, decision making or very often I wouldn't just quite understand how the decision making was actually happening. So that's when I uh, asked uh, Rafa and Novak and some guys to get on the council with me and let's take an act active role in it. And I've actually thoroughly enjoyed it. I learned uh, a lot. I got to know the ATP much better, the people uh, that work for this great organization. And, uh, and personally, I, uh, I think we re actually were able to achieve a few really great things uh, over the course of the last six years, but this is the end now, but I'm still here, I'm still in the game, so naturally I'm still going to be involved and, uh, and still going to be in close contact with the council in the future. What are some of the things over the course of the six years that you're most proud of? I think leading by example, you know, just being there, uh, putting in the time and actually showing the rest of the other players that if you actually play tennis a lot, you have a lot of press, you have a lot of sponsors, you actually can find time uh, for the council and for the tour. I think that's one big thing uh, to show the rest of the guys that um, also you can learn something, you know, other than hitting forehand, uh, forehands and backhands. And then um, I think we achieved, you know, prize money increases. Um, I think, uh, I hope I was able to make some more players understand that this is a 50-50 a organization with the tournaments. I think that's also very important to understand and just that how um, decisions are being made um, at the council level. Not as easy always as it seems, but at the same time, you can be very very involved actively as the more time i spend in these meetings you know which are about as i say three to four to five meetings a year plus you meet uh, sometimes away from the court you speak to the players um, speak to your fellow council members and you just stay on top of things and then clearly you speak to the board you meet other peoples and sometimes we have to meet the slams or you do those things as well so it actually becomes quite busy and I think that's also one of the reasons now I think it's a good time for me um, you know, to let it run its course and have somebody else lead the, the council from here on. Um, I really enjoyed it but, uh, and I'll still be, you know, like I said, involved in some shape or form. But uh, I think it's, uh, if I do it, I'll do it at 100%. And I just feel like with uh, my life now, with my family and my tennis, it's just uh, that's probably a difficult part right now. I think we were able to be, we were able to be successful at that platform as well, to be united, um, and uh, that is a huge part uh, moving forward. That the players listen to each other, they trust each other, and because then, as a tour, we can be much more successful and we can have more success. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah.